What's up, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of X Life. We're going to court. If you don't know, let me just update you on the things that have happened. I lost a heart trying to climb a ladder, down a ladder, and I fell to my death. I broke my knees, I broke my ankles, and I lost a heart. And I'm currently homeless, like clubhouse homeless. Like I can't go into the two heart clubhouse anymore. <sighs> I served the papers to Joel. I'm suing him for damages and other things. Listen, I'm not the attorney. I'm the victim here. Shelby is the attorney. Before I do that, I need to make a couple calls. Hello? Scott, we need a judge. You want me to be the judge? Well, I mean, I have zero experience in anything to do with law and absolutely no qualifications that would justify me being a judge. But yeah, I'll do it. Great. That was supposed to be cooler. Lizzie, I'll see you in court. Okay, Megan, try not to fall down any ladders on your way there. Unholy Trinity! Assemble! I'm ready. In the Minecraft criminal justice system, the people are organized in two separate yet equally important groups. The righteous prosecution seeking justice for horrible ladder-related crimes, and those other guys who defend the criminals. These are their stories. Good day, good day. Honorable people off the court, there's no stairs here. Um, <laughs> order, everyone ready. <laughs> <laughs> everyone may be seated, you may be seated. <laughs> We are gathered in this courthouse today for the trial of Gamer Buddy versus Smallish Beans. So, if the prosecution would like to give their opening statement. Do I, where do I stand? <laughs> Just there. You're giving it to the jury and everyone. Hello, jurors. Hello, everyone else. As a community, when we make a public space like Spawn, we expect it to be safe. When we go to spawn, we're not expecting to have to be on guard at simple local businesses. There should be a standard level of safety we can all rely on. And Joel abused that feeling of security when he built an 11 block tall ladder with no signs, no railings, and no water to fall into. Some of us don't have the best armor or the most hearts, and they're expecting us not to endanger them any more than they already are. Are we not a community that looks out for the safety of others? Or was Joel's intention to cost even more lives with his dangerous shop, which might I add, has a literal headstone? We as a community must do better. That is my opening statement. Thank you, prosecution, <laughs> very good. Defense, would you like to give your opening statement? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the court. Judge Scott, the jury, thank you for taking the time out of your day to attend this trial. <laughs> This trial is a frivolous attempt to pass the blame onto an innocent man. Throughout this trial, we anticipate that his moral character will be misrepresented by the opposing counsel to push a fictitious narrative of wrongdoing. We ask that you first get to know this man for who he really is. Smallish Beans here is a husband, a father to two beautiful pets, a hardworking Minecraft builder, and an upstanding member of the X-Life community. In today's trial, you will be presented with evidence of the safe use of the shop by many other players. You will be presented with evidence of a continued pattern 
of reckless behavior from Strawberry 17 <laughs> to support the conclusion that she is wholly responsible for her own death on that day, not the defendant, Smallish Beans. Thank you. Shelby, Thank I'm not you, a husband. Friends. What am I going to do? <laughs> okay, so if prosecution, would you like to bring forth your evidence? Well, I don't physically have any to hand to you. I did not know that that was going to be a thing we could do. Okay, However, well, well, explain your evidence. We all, I'm sure, once we heard about the incident, went and watched Megan's video and saw it happen before our eyes. As she even exited the shop, we recognized how dangerous it was. And even in an attempt to be careful, as she exited and stepped down the ladder, she missed completely and died because there was just nothing, nothing to stop her from falling. We obviously also have other shops and other places that have very tall ladders, like the Four Heart Clubhouse, but there is a trap door right at the very top to make sure that you don't overstep. We care about the safety of others. Yeah, maybe, maybe she should have been a little more careful. But also, is it not our duty as a community? to look out for each other. We all watched Megan step off of that ledge and fall to her doom. I think that's all the evidence we need. Okay, do you want to call forth your first witness? Oh, yes, come back. My first and only witness is Mika. Okay, Mika, would you like to please take the stand? Yes, I would like to. <laughs> Sorry if I cry. Um, I'm really shaken up by the events of the day. So Mika, do you promise to uphold the truth, not to lie in the courthouse, and to speak with honor and integrity. Uh, yes, I promise. <laughs> okay, you may continue with your examination of your witness. Okay, Mika, you were there on the day of the incident. Could you just yes, first describe in your own words what you witnessed? Oh, it was a tragic scene. I, I witnessed one of my best friends fall to her death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'm too shaken up. It's funny that you bring that up, that Megan has also, now that she has lost her life, has been abandoned by all clubhouses because there is none for three parts. And I, I would like to add that when we confronted Joel about it, he tried to get Megan to do free labor by telling her she should build the three heart clubhouse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is true. He tried to tell her that she should be the one to build it because she now is the only member of the Three Heart Club, but it was his doing that left her all alone. Now, Mika, do you have yes. any experience with building and maybe construction safety measures that should be taken? Oh, oh yes, absolutely. Um, what is your, your experience? I, actually, I have a ladder out, outside of my house. Objection, uh, you're on a hearsay. Rip Mika is not an expert in construction. <laughs> okay, I'll rephrase the question. Would you say that oh, you're okay. f quite familiar with work with ladders and construction? Uh, yes, I'm quite familiar. I have many ladders at my own house. Especially in a place like Spawn where it's public spaces where we're all expected to go. Would you not say that it's on the person's duty who constructed the building that is a public space, a public shop, to make it safe? Yes, it, it was actually one of the very first things I learned on this server was to put a pool of water at the bottom of your ladder. And yes, how many of us in this courtroom have died to falling? You don't have to say anything. I know there's a few of you. <laughs> Me included. <laughs> Which is why it's our job as a community at Spawn to make it as safe as we can for those of us that have less hearts. Would it's you... also well known that Megan's kind of a reckless person and why why would you not put stuff on your ladder to protect Megan when you know she's in the server? Yes, really at any moment that any of us aren't doing that for Megan's safety, mm. it's our fault. We should expect more. <laughs> But I believe that is all of my questions for Mika. Okay, would the defense want to cross-examine? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Lizzie, you look great today, by the way. Well, what thank you. you. This is my court-ready outfit. Okay, the defense would like to cross-examine the witness. Rip Mika, you were present at the death of Strawberry 17. Could you tell me who else was present on that day? Shelby was present on that day. And could you tell me in detail what occurred in the 20 seconds or so preceding Strawberry 17's death? Megan, are you okay? That's Megan, so die one more time and you can join. <laughs> I can't remember if anything was said. My memory, ugh, it's so bad. Do you remember perhaps commenting on the dangerousness of the ladder? Well, see, um... Not really. Uh, wow. <laughs> Did you watch any videos by chance? <laughs> <laughs> no further questions for the witness. Okay. That, you're all done here. Thank Mika, you. Oh, you can take a seat back in the 
the audience. Okay, so is that the end of the prosecution's case? Do you have anything else you wish the jury to know before we move on to the defendant? Wait, oh. wait, Shelby, remember Joel harassed me after I fell and he said, get better armor and yelled at me and then oh. like made me cry more after I was sad, all right? Yes, also the defendant harassed my client by telling her that she should get better armor and then he told her that she should do better when it was his shop that caused her death. Okay, so if the defense would like to bring forth your evidence. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, I present to the court Strawberry 17's Life History Book. If it pleases you, oh. I have a copy yeah. for you. I have a copy for all the jury members. So if you'd please turn to the first page of the Life History Book. This book details the two death events that have befallen Strawberry 17. Her first death, as we can see, was a mere 27 minutes after her arrival on X-Life. And it was caused by an unmarked lucky block, which she did not even hesitate to open. This is evidence of her reckless behavior. Objection. She definitely hesitated for like two seconds. Objection. Uh, that was peer pressure. Objection denied. Allow the defendant to continue with their speech. As you can see, the second death was the falling event, which we are here in the court today to discuss. And the the opposing counsel would have you believe that in the 29 hours between her first and second death, that Strawberry 17 was invested in her survival. But this could not be further from the truth. Strawberry 17 was in fact trying to lose a life. Your Honor, I have some more evidence to present. Put it on the screen for everyone. I'm so sorry, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> Can you all see this? <laughs> I present to the court a screenshot of Megan's video. Nice. Titled Opening Lucky Blocks Until I Lose a Heart. Outright evidence that Strawberry 17 is not cautious about her antics in the X Life world. Does the expect the guy is like to do that? Title. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not an objection admissible in court. Yep. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I need to watch more shows. <laughs> Does the opposing counsel expect us to believe that despite her attempts to purposefully die opening lucky blocks, that on the day of the shop death, she was even trying to be careful? That is all. Do you have any witnesses you would like to call for? Oh, I do, Your Honor. I do. I'd first like yeah. to call to the stand Solidarity Gaming, also known as Jimmy. Mr. Gaming, if you would like to take a seat on the stand. <laughs> Now, Mr. Gaming, do you promise to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Mr. Solidarity, could you first for the court please list the number of ways that you have died on this server? Oh, um, you're really going to do this to me? Okay. Um, <laughs> I've uh, drowned. I've drowned in a lagoon. I've died by a crab. And what was the last one? Oh, yeah, I died in lava as well. A puddle. Not a puddle. Not a puddle. It's a lake. Yeah, so those three ways. Thank you, uh, Mr. Solidarity. So as the court can see, uh, Jimmy has quite a lot of experiences with the dangers of this server. Mr. Solidarity, how many times have you used the shop on this server? Uh, I've used it two times. Has the shop ever caused you injury? Not at all, no, no. Not a single heart? No, no not a single heart. I, I know how to use the ladder, going up it and down. Thank you, Mr. Solidarity. That is all the questions I have for you. Okay, does the prosecution wish to cross-examine Mr. Solidarity? Yes, I do. Are you truly saying that you have never lost, maybe not a life, but maybe half a heart? Maybe even just taking a hit, but you didn't lose any hearts from falling from a ladder? Maybe elsewhere, but not on Smallish Bean's shop, no. But you'll admit, any one of us I... at any point could lose half a heart or so on a ladder. I guess so. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Solidarity. You made your seat. Miss Shadley, did you have any other witnesses you wish to call for? Yes, I'd like to call my next witness, Joey Graceffa, to the stand. Oh, Ms. God. Mr. Graceffa, please come forth and take the stand. Judge, I have an objection. Yeah, uh, that man is that hardly man credible. Is, is, he's not wearing court, uh, <laughs> court clothes. He seems like he's going on vacation. <laughs> we I cannot judge terrible. everyone's ability to afford expensive clothing. Uh, sorry, you guys. Um, it's just, it's very difficult to be here and to look over um, that side. So I, I won't be looking that way. I, I, I can't look at her. <laughs> but I'm, if, 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 Your Honor, if it's okay, I would just like to look at um, 
this side of the courtroom. Yes, that is fine, Mr. Joseph, and I do promise Thank to you. tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, I do. Miss Shadow Lady, you may continue. Mr. Graceffa, as a longtime friend of Strawberry17, how would you mm -hmm. describe her behavior here on the X-Life server? Oh, well, um, she's caused me quite, um, distress while I've been on the server. You see, um, my first day on the server, I came across a very beautiful, small, innocent turtle um, that needed a home. And I was providing him a lovely home. And I'm sorry, it's just what? really hard to talk about this. Um, his name is Ninja. The turtle story and is not relevant to this case. Oh, it is. Uh, uh, Your objection. Honor, it's very relevant. I Your promise. Honor, I argue that this story is relevant. It speaks to Strawberry 17's character. Objection is denied. You may continue, Mr. Graceffo. <laughs> the following day, I logged on the server to see that my turtle was missing and replaced by a frog. <gasps> and I was so confused and distraught at where my uh, precious ninja went. And I, I soon found out that Strawberry 17 aka Gamerbury, she she broke into my home and she stole my turtle from me with her lasso, which by the way, she's very reckless with. It turns out that she murdered my <gasps> poor innocent turtle and I was heartbroken. Shut up. I it's okay, and she'll get, I, we'll get our turn. I didn't know if I could forgive her for that. If she's uh, willing to murder a small innocent turtle Who's to say she's not to do that to one of us? Or herself, <laughs> for that matter. Thank you, Mr. Graceffa. Could you also speak to the character of Smallish Beans? As a simile, you are a longtime friend of his as well. Oh, Joel has been nothing but an honor to have on the server. With his gorgeous builds that he provides for our viewing pleasure, very respectful, honorable man. Uh, thank you, Mr. Graceffa. Do you have anything else to add about the case? I think uh, you've done a great job, Lizzie, at presenting. Oh, well, thank you. I think. I think <laughs> yeah, I'll leave the witness ready for cross examination. Okay. The prosecution, if you'd like to cross examine. Oh, Mr. I would Zepa. like. If your honor, it's uh, your honor. I'm sorry. It's also very difficult to look at this woman in the eyes. <laughs> she was part of the, the disappearance and kidnapping of my turtle. So if you don't mind, if I just look down. Mr. Graceffa, I'm going to have to ask that you do look Miss Shovel in the eyes to keep the court session in play. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it for Joel. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're going to bring up the turtle incident as something to speak on Gamer Burries, character. I think that it's relevant to also mention that Joey had threatened her life first. He threatened Objection, all Yana. of our lives. We're not attesting to the character of my witness where the trial here is about Mr. Smallish Beans. The character Objection, of the witness no, I... is important because we need to know that he's actually being honest about the events. And the event was an accident. Megan helped us build an oasis for the turtle and the turtle died by accident. Nobody had actively killed the turtle. Is that not right? Is that a question? Objection, you're on a leading question. Yes, please keep it more direct. Oh my god, how much shovel. TV do you watch? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving back to the incident, if we're going to be examining Strawberry's character, I think it's mm -hmm. important to note that... Mm, hold on. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. Oh. <laughs> Let's just make it hear very hard okay? to defend you. <laughs> I believe it's important to note Joey's character, as he has also, as it was mentioned, the lassos been lassoing people left and right on the server. And that's not a question, Your Honor, so I don't I don't understand what- <laughs> Yes, please don't raise the questions, questions to things that Mr. Graceffa can answer rather than statements about Mr. Graceffa. <laughs> Your Honor, if the opposing counsel has no questions for my witness, I'd prefer they would stop badgering him. I have a question yeah. about the parrot. Can you explain what the parrot has relevance to do with the case of Miss Birdie's death at Smallsbean's shop? Is the pirate owned by either parties? <laughs> I would what say I'm kind of like a godmother, right? So that's a no, which means that the relevance to this case is not applicable. Just because we're both women does not mean that that parrot can't have two mothers. <laughs> yes, God! <laughs> that's not what I was saying, but she already said that if she was the godmother, so it doesn't count in a court of law. No. Uh, I don't have any questions. Not for... Okay. Oh, <laughs> your, oh your honor. <laughs> Your Honor, if I could just say one more thing. Yes. I think oh. we all know that we're we're living in a world full of Karens. And 
Karens who want to speak to the manager and sue over every little thing. Mm. And I think Gamerbury is showing lots of signs of being a Karen. And I just, I just want you guys to keep that in mind. That Mr. Graceffa, please keep the insults out of my courtroom. Okay. This is kangaroo court. I think that's all I have. Um, okay, to you say. may take a seat. Thank you, Mr. Graceffa. And he's really in bad shape. There's holes in his pants. <laughs> is that the end of your case? Miss Shadow Lady? That's all the evidence we have to present, thank you. Um, okay. Unless the defendant himself would like to make any statement. Nah, I feel like you've said it all perfectly, thank you. <laughs> now, if the prosecution would like to make your closing statement. Well, if, if, if Megan would also like to make a statement, does she have that opportunity? Yes. Uh, yes. I'll make Welcome a statement. Down. My, I would like to make a statement! <clears throat> I... <laughs> would just like to say that I love being on this server and I do really like ladders. My entire house is built with ladders. I don't have stairs. I, I have ladders for every single floor, so I'm used to using them. I've gotten better at parkour. I, I never killed a turtle. It definitely happened on its own. You know, things should be safe. They should be safe on this server. I, I don't... When, when there's holes in the ground, I fill them. If I see a big crevasse when I'm adventuring, I try and like create like a bridge or a little bit of dirt around it so that if someone else comes across it, maybe they won't fall in the hole and die. I think about these things and I think about everyone on this server because I feel like we all deserve a fair chance at living. I just would hope that everyone else was kind of thinking the same way. Maybe that was wrong for me to assume. Joel's ladder was very, very dangerous and it's, it's, it's at spawn. What happens when Ollie comes on the server and just falls to his first death? I worry about him whenever he decides to log on. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's all I have to say. Okay. And if the defense would like to make their closing speech. It is unequivocally true that the ladder does not have a block behind it. The question I pose to you is does it need a block behind it? Ladders are a safe way to move vertically and are used daily by the players on this server without resulting in death or injury. In fact, the very ladder in the shop is used regularly by a diverse number of players on this server, again, with no injury or death. After all the evidence you've been presented with in the court today, how can we condemn this innocent man to lose some of his money, one of his lives, or spend some of his time in jail. I implore you to return an innocent verdict. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, if the jury would like to remove themselves from the call and deliberate and come back to me with your decision. Joel paid me a block of diamond to represent him because I hey, am wait, the what? best lawyer wait. on the server. Megan, you're not paying me at all. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll give you a diamond when we go diamond hunting. Diamond. diamond. Oh, a diamond. A diamond. That's a nice. Diamond. I mean, I suppose, Lizzie, you pay for the quality of lawyer that you receive. <laughs> Joel, have a, have a knife out. Oh, sorry. I was... Is this illegal? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you imagine if one of them died when they were out there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, have the jury came to a verdict? Yes. And... We have come to a decision that Joel is innocent. <gasps> yes! Okay. With baloney! With some jury. Oh. Wet kangaroo wait. court. We think what? it was just an accident, but it would be nice if he added a safety feature for next time. Okay, thank you, we jury. Won. I will take that into consideration with my sentencing. Okay. So, <laughs> the jury has decided that Smallish Beans is not guilty and holds no responsibility for the loss of life from Miss Burry. It is advised by the court that you do make some alterations to make sure that we don't have a situation like this again, but it is an advice, not a law. Court has adjourned. Can I say I will add the barriers to protect the young innocent people like Megan on the server who are unable to use ladders properly. Goodbye. Thank That's you, Mr. Bates. Oh. All right, listen, this did not go how I thought it would go. Not according to plan at all. I think I have a lot of thinking to do. Because obviously I've built up this horrible reputation on the server and people just think I cause trouble and drama. And that's not, that's not me. I gotta work on my reputation. Just gotta work on climbing some ladders and not dying. 
From here on out, I'm gonna just stick to what's in front of me. Building my house, building a shop, working on making the unholy trinity aisle look the best it possibly can. No more dying. No more suing people. Slizzy was really scary as a lawyer. No more drama. It's a new me now.